Please pause for a moment of quiet reflection. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We are the Alpha Retta High School and your morning show starts right now. Alpharetta, my name is Vicki Germano and let's get started. Hey Alpharetta, UNO Club will be having a meeting Tuesday, October 2nd at 7.40 in Ms. Farr's room, 3314. Bring food, friends, and a deck of UNO. See you there. My name is Paige Tucci and I'm a sophomore and I play for the varsity and JV softball teams at Alpharetta. Tell us about Tuesday's game. Um, on Tuesday, we played Chattahoochee and we beat them, I think, 10 to 6, which was really important for us because it gives us a good spot in the region and sets us up for playoffs. So. How have you come together as a team? Um, this year, we really like worked together and um, I think just coming together through encouraging others and like really, you know, working hard and you know, getting up in games. Our next game is Tuesday at Dunwoody High School. I think it starts at like 4.30, so hopefully everyone can make it and come out and support us. <laughs> My name is Jazzy Harrell with Sports Recap. The Lady Raiders volleyball team completed their region play this past Tuesday, defeating Centennial and Chattahoochee, remaining undefeated in the season in the region. Mark your calendar for October 9th, 10th, and 11th for the region tournament hosted here at Alpharetta. We will be the number one seed and look to repeat as region champs on the quest for state title. What's up, Alpharetta? I'm Hunter Lacerna, hosting this portion of the morning show. Your freshman girls volleyball team finished up their season last night playing against Harrison and Blessed Trinity. They defeated Harrison and took second place to Blessed Trinity. All our players are amazing and have nominated Eden Lanier as player of the night. Great job to you all and thanks for a great season. Congrats to this week's Rich Raider winners for showing respect, integrity, citizenship, and hard work. The winners of the free Chick-fil-A item are Lenia Wood, Gabby Felder, Yasmin Aris, and Kennedy Smith. The winner of the Raider parking spot is the meme of the week editor himself, Terrell Jackson. The winners of the Panera Bread gift cards are Lenia Wood, Anika Perohit, Hale Broten, and Alexis Baker. The winners of the free popcorn on Friday are Aaron Carter, Caitlin Tabb, Maya Dawson, John DeKellen, and Colby Camps. Thank you to our staff for giving out their Rich Raider tickets. This week's staff winners are... Students, your reward will be delivered today. Keep up the great work and stay Rich Raiders. Good morning, Alpharetta. My name is Maya. Let's get started. Attention juniors and seniors, Criterion applications for the AHS chapter of the National Honor Society are now available on the homepage of the Alpharetta High School website. Student ID numbers have been posted of potential eligible juniors and seniors with a 92 or higher cumulative numeric average, CNA. Completed applications are due on or before October 4th. A handwritten essay is one part of the application. All NS NHS applicants must choose one of four opportunities to sit here on campus for a 45 minute session and craft a written essay response to a question that will be provided at the session. Jostens, our yearbook publisher, is running two sweepstakes during National Yearbook Week, which is October 1st through 5th. When you buy a yearbook online, you'll be automatically entered to win a MacBook Pro. This sweepstakes will run through October 12th. 
Hey guys, it's Katie and today I am back on the morning show. I know it has been a fat second since I've been on here. I think it's been like three or four weeks, but I am back and better than ever. I've been super, super busy right now just balancing cheer, school, and YouTube. It's been a little bit of a struggle, but I'm back here and you know, thriving. So today we're gonna be talking about grades and not focusing on the little things. So as you know, high school is really stressful and I know I'm only a freshman. I've only been in high school for almost, let's say, I think it's been almost two months now. But um, it's well, high school is really different compared to middle school and um, the workload is just different and you have a lot more responsibility, I've noticed that. And sometimes you get caught up on the little things. So for example, I spent a long, long time studying for this math test. And on this math test, I was really, really worried about it because I'm personally just not good at math like straight up I'm bad at math and I spent forever studying for this math test and I did not do good like at all and that seems to be a common factor with me in math but I thought I was gonna nail it and I got my grade back and I did not nail it but I let that ruin my entire day because I messed up on one math test and I know Grades are super, super important, but if you let that one little grade that you slipped up on ruin your entire day, that really, really sucks. That one little thing can ruin an entire day for you. And I just wanna say, focus on the bigger picture. Obviously that math test or that bad grade is gonna affect you right in that moment, but in two weeks, is that math test gonna matter? Maybe a little bit, but not too much. In two years, is that math test gonna matter? No, one math test is not gonna matter. So just focus on the bigger picture. Don't worry about the small things because it will eventually pass and you will get through it. So I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I cannot wait to join you guys back next week for the morning show for your next segment, but have a wonderful day and bye. Attention all students interested in running track this season. The AHS track and field team will be hosting its kickoff slash registration meeting in the Media Center on October 4th at 7 p.m. The meeting will cover upcoming season, player pack ordering and sizing, fee payment, volunteer opportunities, and fee payments. If you have any questions, please contact Coach Marine. Are you interested in a club where you can get a workout and have fun? The Foursquare Club will have an interest meeting after school Wednesday, October 3rd at 345 in room 4316. Come out and get more information about this new club. All are welcome. Congratulations to everyone who tried out for basketball cheer. Squads are posted today on the door of room 5120. Look for your number. There will be a mandatory parent cheerleader meeting on Tuesday, October 2nd from 6 to 7 in the Media Center. Hi, I'm Me here. And I'm Ralph. We're part of a new club at Alpharetta called the AHS Auto Club. The AHS Auto Club is a new club centered for students who have a passion in automobiles of any sorts, motorsports, and automotive engineering. It's a good opportunity to meet other students with similar passions, as well as expand your knowledge on automobile culture, history, and technology. So our meetings will focus on discussing famous car chassis, engines, various motorsports, as well as various car modifications and maintenance. The AHS Auto Club is open to all students. The only requirement is that you have a passion for automobiles. You don't need a car to join the club. Our first meeting will be October 3rd in room 2311, two, Mr. Wright's room at 3.30 p.m. after school. We hope to see you guys there. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. If you like that, click the subscribe button below and good things will happen forever.